I, Russ Hess here, RussHess.com, open talk with Russ Hess. Hey, just wanted to touch base with you. You know, at last I talked, uh, I was explaining to you that, um, you know, there has been some changes to the rules uh, in which we operate. And, uh, you know, it's something we just need to pay attention to um, and, you know, maybe adapt to in some form or fashion. Uh, I did talk about, you know, perhaps humbling ourselves uh, to a degree. And, you know, why is that? And now let me explain to you why I find that to be very crucial. Uh, it's because it gives us a new perspective. It gives us a perspective we didn't have. Uh, you know, wh why is that necessary? Well, that gives us a chance to discover what we may not have known about the situation. Uh, you know, discover other possibilities, uh, other ways to do things, uh, perhaps. Uh, may discover that we were doing things inefficiently before. And with that, maybe provide a change in how you can adapt to, you know, doing something differently. In other words, take the pride out of the equation and add to it what will make that project, that thing work, whatever it is that you're planning to do. You know, you may have to change mode and with doing that, you may be something that you need to apply yourself differently to. Uh, none of that's bad, and you should not even look at it as being bad. What you should look at it as is being, you know, how can I make this thing, this life of mine work in a way that's going to be beneficial to me and beneficial to others? And, you know, the answer to that is, is to... And I, and I love the way that Jocko Willink does this. He explains it in word of detach. That means take yourself out of, you know, the battle, so to speak. Stop for a minute. Pause. Take a look around you. See what elements there are that you can work with. What you're actually up against. See the the your enemy so to speak uh, that or the challenge that you have and how you can overcome in that instead of being deeply embedded within the fight or within the battle to not really know and see the perspective and, and be able to kind of separate yourself from that disengage so to speak for a little bit and then reapply yourself after you know discovering maybe a different path or maybe a different direction or maybe just changing and stopping and retreating for a bit uh, if you have no better options. You know, this is a change in perspective. That's why I explained the perspective change is what you will need and that starts by humbling yourself. It starts by taking in a notch down and saying, you know what, maybe I don't have all the answers, but I'm going to take a brief break. I'm going to get in a safe space, you know, get in somewhere where you're, you know, you're not going to be uh, entrenched in battle. Stop for a minute uh, and see what logical solutions you may have at your ability to move forward. You know, if nothing else, it's a gorgeous day at the park and I just nice breeze out there, nice sunny day. It's been a while since I've had a chance to walk across the park and just enjoy the green grass and uh, see the water and, uh, you know, just enjoy the birds as they're flying around and just open air and just take it all in. 
I'm wishing you the best. You have a great one.